the number one goal for the Detroit Lions in the offseason is to bring premium talent to Detroit. The Detroit Lions so desperately need talented players. It just can't be Amon Ross St. Brown. And I want to give a shout out to the Spirit of Detroit podcast, Avery Giovanni. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. He do have some great content over there. So subscribe to the channel. Avery was on to something and I had already been on to it because I've talked about Jamar Chase so many times and how I knew that this kid was going to be a class act and he was going to be phenomenal and everything is coming to fruition. But when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals and what they've been able to do has been definitely uh, a great ride this season for them. And hopefully the ride doesn't stop for them. They'll be able to go all the way. But we'll see what happens uh, when they have to face against the Chiefs or the Bills. But the main thing and the reason why I want to talk about this is before I get into John uh, Mechie is because the Detroit Lions have to find their own premium talent. Now, the Cincinnati Bengals drafted all of the players that I'm about to talk about, and they're still with this organization. Tyler Boyd, who had over 800 something yards this season, they drafted. When it comes to T. Higgins, a few years ago, they drafted out of Clemson. And then the icing on the cake, Jamar Chase, they drafted a year ago. Joe Burrow, a year ago. Joe Mixon a few years ago the Cincinnati Bengals have been able to draft all of these guys and they're getting these guys to produce and that's what the Detroit Lions need to do they need to be able to find guys that will produce now when I look at a John Mechie could John Mechie be a number one yeah he possibly could be but I think that John Mechie is probably a great number two um, I think that this kid is box office. He's about six foot, 195 pounds. He can run every route in the route tree. He can create separation. Um, he's smooth in his in in and out of his cuts. He has strong hands. He's fluid with his hips. He can locate the deep ball really well over both shoulders. He's great at catch, catching the uh, the deep routes. And then when you think about his projection because of his injury, he's projected to go late in the first round, but he could be he could probably be picked up no later than the third round because of the injury. So he he will be probably anywhere between one through three. John Mechie would be a great piece for the Detroit Lions to have. Alabama has been producing nothing but wide receivers in the league lately. And it's become a factory over there where every season they have these wide receivers. And John Mechie is one of these guys. I definitely think that this guy is phenomenal. And he's done some great things at Alabama. You know, I wish he would have never got hurt. So he would have had that opportunity to play in a championship game, but it is the game of football and players do get hurt. Now in 2019, John Mechie played sparingly. He had four receptions for 23 yards. He averaged around per catch was 5.8 then. And then in 2020, he had a breakout season with Alabama. He had 55 receptions for 916 yards and the average per catch was 16.7 and then his best season which he probably could have came back for another season because he's pretty much leaving it leaving in his junior year he had 96 receptions for 1142 yards and averaged about 11.9 per catch so i guess you want to say he averaged around 12 yards a catch. John Mechie is a dude that the Detroit Lions definitely could take a look at. He is a guy that you can consider in the draft. And when you're the Detroit Lions, sometimes you got to take a page out of other teams' books and see what they have done to have success. And I think that that's something that the Detroit Lions can do. You have to draft correctly in this year's draft. 
you have to go out and get the missing pieces to this team that's going to help this team ultimately go into the right direction. I'm very confident in Brad Holmes that he'll be able to do that. I'm sure right now he's probably studying receivers, linebackers, pass rushers, quarterbacks, safeties, offensive linemen. I'm sure he's he's doing all that because of ahead of time, these guys get all of this information ahead of time. And I definitely want to see the Detroit Lions be successful, man. That's one thing that I want to uh, see out of the Lions. And I'm sure as a Detroit Lions fans, you guys want to see the same thing. We must go and find guys that's going to turn this franchise around. I know we're tired of losing, guys. I know every single season, you know, you ask the question, why us? Why are we the ones that have to lose every single season? Where everybody else fan base is having fun, enjoying wins. And all we do is go into the offseason thinking about the draft and hopefully hit on our draft picks. It has to come to a point where these guys that we draft work out. Having a John Mechie on his team would definitely be phenomenal. John Mechie, Amon Ross St. Brown, and then possibly another big body receiver. I think would be would great would be great, man. There's nothing that this kid can't do in the route tree. He can get separation, and that's what the Detroit Lions need because they don't have too many receivers on the team that can create space and separation. That's been Detroit's one of their uh, main problems. And another issue that the Detroit Lions have had for a long time that they need to correct is being able to score in the red zone. Stop kicking all these field goals and score touchdowns. Score some touchdowns, Detroit, and stop scoring all of these field goals. You got to get better in the red zone. So I think grabbing a guy like John Mechie will be a great thing for the Detroit Lions. I love everything that Brad Holmes is doing. But I, my, my greatest hope is for 2022 to be able to grab some guys that can be faces on this team. And that can ultimately help this team head where it needs to be headed. And that's upward and not downward. We've had enough of being the laughing stock and the doormats of the league. It is time that we go out and get the players that's going to help us get to where we need to be. We don't need just one individual guy being the man here. We need several different guys, just like how Cincinnati has been able to build. You got Tyler Boyd, you have Jamar Chase, and you have T. Higgins. And all of these guys have been able to produce, and they also have a tight end that's pretty decent as well. And you guys already know that we got TJ Hawkinson, who was a pro bowler last season. So we need to help this team out by being able to go into the draft with one goal in mind. And that's to be able to go out and get the premium talent that this team deserves. Go get the players that the Detroit Lions deserve to have. We deserve to have star quality players on our team, just like every other franchise. So picking up John Mechie would be a great thing for the Lions. And now I'm not going to say that the Lions are going to draft him, but he definitely would be on my big board. Now, I know that the injury, you have to think about the, uh, the ACL that he tore, and I understand that. But at the same time, if he comes back healthy and ready to go, why not draft this kid? He's a guy that can take the top off the defense. He's a guy that can create space and separation. He's a great route runner. He's smooth in and out of his cuts, has strong hands. Is very good locating the ball and tracking the ball down, especially deep balls. So I know if you're a Detroit Lions fan, you want the same thing. You want to have that star quality power on your team as well. You want to have other guys that'll be able to mesh with Amon Ross St. Brown and take this team to places it's never been before. So I'm hoping that the Detroit Lions will get the players in 2022 that will help turn this thing around and we could be that team that comes out of the drought eventually.
We know that the Cincinnati Bengals finally got their first win out of 31 seasons. But now it's all about the Detroit Lions being able to get back into the playoffs and eventually win a playoff game. It's been a very, very long time. And it's time to change things in Detroit. It's one goal and one task in the offseason. And that's to get premium talent. All right, you guys, you know I got to keep it raw. And I'll be back to you soon with another video.